What is this? Uh, just wait, something cool is gonna happen. <laughs> and welcome to Facts or Frauds. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. Call in case 230-602-1101. People of the state of Michigan versus Michael DeJohn McIntosh. Defendants charged with count one, unlawful imprisonment. Count two, is with intent to do great bodily harm, less than murder or by strangulation. Defendant is labeled as a vigil offender for defense notice, mandatory 25-year sentence. Today is the day and time for the bond redetermination hearing. Judge, always is a privilege, and good morning. It's Steve Vincent for the people, P71917. Judge, and good morning. May it please this honorable court, Philip Reagan, P57156, on behalf of Mr. McIntosh. Mr. McIntosh, state your name for the record. Uh, uh, Your Honor, I, I'd like to represent myself in this bond hearing. My name is Michael McIntosh. Say what? Okay. Well, sir, you have a you have a right uh, to have counsel. We have counsel here present for you, and you are rejecting uh, having the house counsel, and you would like to represent yourself. Uh, that's correct, Your Honor. Okay, all right. We will have Mr. Reagan here just in case you change your mind. But uh, your bond is currently fifty thousand um, uh, dollars. You may uh, begin your defense. Okay, Your Honor. <clears throat> Uh, thank you for the and opportunity. Sir, and sir, just to make sure we're clear, we're, we're not arguing facts today. We're just arguing bond. So continue. Bond. Yes, 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 sir, Your Honor. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, as far as bond goes, Your Honor, uh, I, I've been at the, the, the time of arrest, uh, 1026. Uh, I'm working full time, uh, two jobs, uh, working approximately 60 hours per week. And I've been I've been working. Uh, this alleged incident occurred on eight twenty. Now I was picked up, arrested on ten twenty six. So that was like more than sixty days later since uh, this alleged occurred incidents happened. I was working two jobs about six sixty hours a week, six days per week. I'm working on a building. Uh, uh, successfully working Monday through Saturday for about a year. Uh, I was released uh, from prison uh, 10, 18, uh, 22. I told the parole board I would have a job within three weeks. I've been working and I, I've got a job within three days. And I've been working at that job, the same job for three days out of prison until the current time of arrest. And so I, I personally, I would request uh, a personal bond, Your Honor, and this this person, the alleged the alleged victim, was, was nothing more than a girlfriend. God providing works. I felt sorry for, her, and I providing works uh, rides to work for her approximately five six months. So uh, I would respectfully ask that you uh, consider a personal bond, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Thank you, um, Mr. Prosecutor. Judge, very, very, very serious allegations here regarding this individual. He's on parole for both an AWIM as well as weapons, uh, felony firearms. You can see not only that, he has prior multiple convictions that he ended up getting parole for. So bad to the point now where it's a half four mandatory 25 years. As much as I do respect the fact that the defendant has been working it doesn't take away from the significance of this particular incident, which, which judge, quite honestly, is, is scary uh, to the point where we have an individual allegedly covering another individual with some type of clothing after taking after taking off um, judge apparently shoes and other parts of clothing. And then and then judge, we have uh, allegedly holding her. Yeah, for, for all intent and purposes, like a hostage, imprisoning her unlawfully, wanting to get away. She can't get away. And then let's talk about the injuries, which there were, because allegedly there was punching and strangling. Um, Your Honor, high, highly assaultive. If this was my case, I would have been asking for more uh, in terms of it. I think it's a $50,000 cash bond, tether house arrest. 
based on the nature of the offenses, based on the allegations here, again, Judge, which which supremely would scare anybody, let alone this complainant, which she said she was in fear. Uh, respectfully, we're going to be asking for that uh, cash bond. Damn! Sorry, what are you your work hours? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. McIntosh. What are your work hours? My work hours are 7.30, approximately 7.30 a.m. to 1.30, approximately 1.30 p.m. And I would leave that job and go to, straight to another job, approximately 2, 2 p.m., until about 7 p.m. Okay. All and right. I, 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 I really like to uh, debuttal his statement, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, this alleged incident, this, this incident that the uh, prosecutor mentioned was over 20 years ago when I was arrested. Uh, uh, about 20 years. It uh, uh, occurred about 20 years ago in 2004. I have gone all these years <clears throat> without a crime, without committing a crime, Your Honor. That that incident when I was arrested for was occurred in 2004. Okay. I went 16 years in prison without committing crimes, without getting any major violations. And also, too, Your Honor, you, you, the, uh, the prosecutor states that the uh, 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 harm to the, uh, uh, the alleged victim, Your Honor, the police were called to the, to, to the uh, alleged victim's house and the alleged victim refused EMS. Didn't, didn't need any medical attention. So I, I object to, to that, Your Honor. So I, I humbly ask that you re, re, uh, give me a personal bond because this is someone that I dated. And it was just more, more so just someone that I dated and I continuously dated. And I felt sorry for her because she had five kids. And I wanted I, to continue provide a ride for her to work, which I, I, I continually did for about five, six months, Your Honor. Understood, sir. Understood, sir. Court, I haven't, yes, heard, sir. The court, I haven't heard the arguments of counsel. And the court finds that the $50,000 cash bond is an unaffordable bond. In order to have an unaffordable bond, there must be a showing um, that either the defendant is um, a danger to the community or to the complaining witness or that he or she is a flight risk. In this case, we do not have any uh, allegations of flight. Um, the, the question is whether Mr. McIntosh is a danger to the complaining witness or to the community. Court does find, based on these allegations, that a danger does uh, does. Uh, there, there is there is a danger. Uh, the court is going to so therefore court uh, the court can't issue an unaffordable bond. The court the, 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 the court uh, the court um, however based on um, the, the court is going to reduce the bond uh, from the fifty thousand cash uh, to fifty thousand ten percent with a GPS tether, a curfew of ten p.m. until five a.m. And a no contact with the complaining witness. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. You, know, you right. said that, did you say 5,000, 10%? No, I said 50,000, 10%. With, and uh, GPS tether, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew, and a no contact with the complaining witness. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, do you think this show is educational? Yes, it'll drive people to read books. <laughs> and once again, thanks for hanging out with us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and ring that bell for notifications. So next time from your video, you can meet a live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And a huge thank you to our channel members, Robert Morley, Andy, Chris Kelling, Pedro Ragamole, Gaza Tooth, Pat's Cats, Existential Angst, CW 1960, West Side Girl Reacts, Butcher Bird, Jason Heaton, and Buddy Parker. If you'd like to become a member, just click on that join button right next to subscribe, or click on the link in the description. One issue. Thank you. I appreciate you all. And if you're still hanging around watching, why not hit that subscribe button? Yeah, hit the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel, hit that thanks button. Until next time, Wanishi, thank you. I'll see you soon.